Good morning, everyone. The intentions for Holy Mass this morning for Douglas and Cynthia Richards on their wedding anniversary. For those recommended to our prayers, for the repose of the soul of Alicia Kay, for all our beloved dead, and for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth, and it's the memorial of St. Martin de Porres. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup, you yourself who secure my portion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Martin de Porres by the path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, owe no one anything except to love one another, for he who loves his neighbor has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this sentence. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. It goes well for the man who deals generously and blends. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who takes great delight in his commandments. His descendants shall be powerful on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. It goes well. A light rises in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His might shall be exalted in glory. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Alleluia. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, you are blessed. 
because the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Great multitudes accompanied Jesus, and he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother, and wife and children, and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, cannot be my disciple. But whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going to encounter another king in war, will not sit down first and take counsel whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him who comes against him with 20,000. And if not, while the other is yet a great way off, he sends an embassy and asks terms of peace. So therefore, whoever of you does not renounce all that he has cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're presented with an extraordinary contrast in today's readings. Uh, from Romans is the repetition of the law of love, love one another, Love your neighbor as yourself. So love yourself and love your neighbor. And the gospel is talking about hate. Unless you hate your mum and dad, your brothers and sisters, and your own life too. You cannot be my disciple. Three times it's, the gospel says you cannot be my disciple. So what's going on? Well, obviously, at a certain level, Jesus is exaggerating, using what we call hyperbole, a very strong exaggeration to make a point. But the context is always important so that we don't get an unbalanced view. The context is the Shema that we've been hearing about that you must love God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and all your strength. And that really only God deserves that kind of love and can claim that kind of love. So it is the love of God first, the love of Jesus first. And as so often, whenever we have a problem, we find St. Augustine riding to the rescue. And St. Augustine puts things so neatly that they are memorable. And about this text in Luke, he says, I love you in Christ, not instead of Christ. So we love Christ first, and we love everybody else in Christ, 
And if we remember that, we won't be confused or misled by the literal language of hatred, which is so uncommon to Jesus. And in the same passage, he's saying what has come down to us as a, as a very simple uh, saying, no cross, no crown. We're used to these slogans nowadays. No mask, no entry. No cross, no crown, no reward. Um, so, no cross, no disciple. If we're not prepared to carry the cross, then forget about trying to be a disciple, following Jesus. We have tried to commit ourselves to being a disciple, and therefore we try to love everybody in Christ, in God, and we are prepared at least to try to drag our cross, if not to carry it, to drag it after us. At least to accept that we have a cross to carry and we do our best. We call upon God to help us because of our weakness. And today we have a very stunning example of discipleship in this holy lay brother, Dominican, illegitimate, uh, of mixed race, who was a living example of charity, of putting God first, but loving everybody that came near him, came to the monastery in Christ. And therefore, by his very family background, his father was a Spanish grandee and his mother was a local woman in Lima, in Peru. He straddles and breaks boundaries of race, color, and so-called respectability, and was loved by everyone as Martin the Charitable. May his example, even at this great distance, uh, may his example help us to be better disciples, to love one another in Christ, and to embrace the cross. St. Martin de Porres, pray for us.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Cleanse me. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for our good. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create in blessed Martin de Porres the new man in your image, the old having passed away. Graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of reconciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship, by their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a crowd of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 the Lord God of Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, He took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. (coughs) Your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. (coughs) Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. Amen.
Amen, I say to you, that you who have left all and followed me will receive a hundredfold and possess eternal life. Let us pray. <clears throat> By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of blessed Martin de Porres and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <coughs> Saint Michael, the Archangel. Defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, all the other wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.